What's Gucci everyone, it's AJ again, and today I want to make a video of something that's caused me a lot of stress in many eons of my life, and that is how to resolve, resolve merge conflicts in Git. And I don't know about you guys, what it, but if you ever use Git, and when you start using it, the way I kind of feel about it is it's um, a very like power heavy kind of um, feature in that it's made really for power users and that and so it's made for people who know exactly what's going on and so in the beginning it's extremely frustrating because all you're doing is googling commands for all the errors you get and you really have no idea what's going on. So this is for someone who basically knows like the real basics of, it, of everything about branches and kind of committing your indexing your workspace, your index area, and your repository, and how that kind of works out, but not really like maybe what git fetch does or has to Google a lot of commands like I do. And so what I'm going to do here is show you guys how to resolve a merge conflict, which for me is the most scariest thing alive when working on projects, especially big projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make a um, project. We're going to make a directory, and I'm going to call it example and let's call it, let's just call it ex here. And so I'm going to cd in the ex, and I'm going to do git init to initialize a git repository, and let's uh, make a document. Let's call it a.txt, and let's make a document, and let's say hello world, and just for fun, let's make some lines, and then let me make multiple cursors, which is something you can do in Sublime, and let's... Um, Say hi, my name is a.j. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to close this document. And so now I'm going to add that with a dot and then I'm going to commit that and I'm just going to say added a dot txt. If you don't know what all these things mean, you, this video probably is for you. It's primarily getting to me setting up setting up a merge conflict, but kind of reminding you how to do everything. So I just added something and I committed it to my local repository. I added to the indexing area and then commit to the local repository. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do git checkout and give it the B option and I spelled checkout wrong. And what this does, it's, it, creates, it creates a branch off master, which is the automatic um, branch created for you in git. And git checkout B makes a branch and transfers you to it. So I'm going to git checkout and I'm going to call it branch one. And so that switched me over to get branch to branch one. And if I do git branch, I'm sorry. Then you see I have branch one and then I have master. I'm on branch one. That's why it's kind of highlighted in my kind of special highlighting stuff. But so I did that. And so now I'm going to do sublime a.txt and I'm going to now change this document. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to add some lines here. Hello, my name is AJ and I'm just going to add YOLO here. Uh, YOLO to all that stuff. And let's do hello um, gigantic world. Okay, so there you go. I just changed that document, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get, I'm going to add that to the indexing area, and then I'm going to commit it to my local repository change, and I'm with a comment that says changed a.txt. So awesome. Okay, so now I'm on this different branch where I just changed a.txt. You know, not bad, and I committed it. So everything's pretty good. So now I'm going to switch back to my master branch right there good if you, as you can see if I do get branch then I'm on my master branch just so now so note I changed I changed a.txt on branch one but now I'm on master meaning it doesn't have any of those changes as I'll show you when I open it up I still got hello world hi my name is AJ and so now I'm going to change this document I'm going to do hello my name is slim shady I love Eminem. If you guys don't like Eminem, well, that's okay. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And I'm going to say, hello, it's a small world after all. If you guys have ever been on that Disneyland ride. Okay, so hello, it's a small world. Hello, my name's Shady. So now this has different changes. The master branch now has different changes than branch one. So I've got my master branch, and then i got branch one, which obviously is branching off from it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get add this. I'm going to add that to the indexing area, and I'm going to commit it. Um, helpful trick, if you have things that have already been added to the index, you can do git add am and that will do it automatically for you. I don't know why I was doing it the slow way. And then I'll say changed a.txt. It doesn't matter again what kind of commit, but it's also it's always good to give 
good commit messages. And so now I've done that. So now I've kind of I've changed now I've changed a.txt on both branches, my master and branch one. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to bring the changes from branch one into a.txt. But in a lot of situations, what will happen is in a big project in Git, a lot of people will be working on things. And maybe you guys don't coordinate well or you just need a quick fix. Basically, what happens is you guys both modify the same sections of the same file. And so Git is smart enough to recognize different changes in the same file, so not on the same line. But if you change if you change the same lines, Git is going to be like, what do I do? Which ones do I choose on that line? What do I implement instead? And so this is going to result in a merge conflict. And so let's and so now I'm going to try to merge branch one onto the master ma master branch. So I'm going to say, okay, um, branch one, give me your changes. And it's going to say Auto merging a.txt and say conflict, merge conflict in a.txt. And now, if you've been doing Git before, you are going to want to pull your hair out. You're going to want to, you know, start off cut, cutting off bodily limbs and get really mad because there's nothing more I hate than seeing this. But the way you want to fix this is you want to simply use a merge tool. And the way you want to do that is you want to use a git merge tool and git automatically comes with some merge tools and the way you can set your merge tool is with the command below git merge tool tool emerge so emerge is a is, a, is one kind of way one kind of program there's like 18 of them there's 18 different type of pro, 18 different types of programs you can use to um, be able to resolve merge conflicts so i'm going to run that command and it's going to say hit return to start merge resolution tool emerge and so now it's going to give me this stuff so that's pretty cool so now i've actually got a really cool thing here so in my left box here i've got one version version a i'll just call it it doesn't really matter and then in my other version i got version v because when you try to merge things you're always merging two versions i got version a and i got version uh b on the left and right we're only talking about the top the upper part and the bottom part is what I'm going to decide to merge everything into. So by default, it's the master branch because I was trying to merge into the master branch. So it looks identical to the top left box. So the really emerge works pretty easily. So there's really only three commands that I, oh, there's four commands that I really know. There is N, A, B, and Q. So the first thing you want to do is you want to resolve each separate issue with emerge. So the first thing I'm going to do when I enter it is I'm going to type an N and N stands for next. And so as you can see, when I typed in N, these little arrows came up. And what these little arrows mean, it says, ding, 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 your change is here. Your change is here, or difference is here. So then I can look at both boxes. I can see, hello, it's a small world, and hello, gigantic world. And then I can choose between which edition. So if I type in A, that will give me um, the left choice. Or I can type in B. I can type in A, or type in B for the right upper right choice and I can type an A to go back to the upper left choice and so I can just choose which change and whichever change I want and when I want to go on to the next change I just press next so for instance I'll decide on um, the right edition the the branch one edition so hello gigantic world so now I'm going to type N again and so that brings me my next change and so now it highlights the the six lines hi my name is Slim Shady because it notices that I changed all of them the same way so that is pretty optimal too so really what I can do is I can choose between which edition. I can, I can go A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Pretty easy, right? So let's see. Let's just do A. Let's just so I kind of can morph them together. So you can morph them together. Usually you don't want to morph them together, though, but in some situations you may. And so now I'm kind of done now. I And then I, I decide on one. I press N again. And then so when it says at end all the way at the bottom, I can press Q. And a Q all the way at the bottom of my terminal says, do you want to successfully finish this merge? And you can type yes or no, depending if you're done or not. I'm done. So I hit yes. So now my merge is done. So now I can do Sublime. Now I can open this up in Sublime. And hello, Gigantic World. My name is Slim Shady is AJ. So see, I've got the change from hello, Gigantic World. And I got hello, my name is Slim Shady from the first branch. So as you can see, I was able to successfully merge everything pretty easily. And that was nice. I'm going to have a link below to all the emerge tricks. But as you can see, it's pretty easily. And now merges, merge conflicts can be your best friend. And it can be something that you guys deserve and have earned the right to earn. I mean, gosh, I, I need to talk better. Need 
have earned the respect to, to dominate and not be intimidated by them and live your life without any fear. Well, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and have the best day of your lives. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you want to watch more videos of the same category, you can click over here. And if you want to watch any new videos and learn something new, you can click over here. Have the best day of your life.